What's up, y'all? Bill C. here. Today we're talking about DRMS or Dr. MS or Dr. Midside, however you like to say it, by Matthew Lane. I think this is a pretty unique processor and it looks extremely complicated, but it's actually not. What's going on here is you have four sections, mid, side, focus, and field. Mid and side you're probably already familiar with. Mid is the content that's the same on the left and the right. So if you play them both on the left and the right at the same time, they show up in the middle or the phantom center if you're using two speakers. Side is the content that's different on the left from the right, which means that it shows up in the sides but not in the middle. If the in buttons are gray, that means that the dials are active. If this is not gray, then this defaults to 100%. So regardless of where you have this, this could show zero, but this actually means 100% because in is not in. If it's in, then it's watching this here, and this is zero, and there's nothing in the mid, and then that goes up to 100. The side in works the same way. If this is in, you can change the width anywhere you want from zero to 600. If it's not in, it defaults to 100. What focus does, which is not in by default, is it takes the mid content and it puts it on the sides. So if you put this in and turn this dial up, you'll start hearing contents far left and right when originally you just had a mono signal down the center. What field does is it puts the side content in the middle. So if you have drums, for instance, that don't have enough punch down the middle, you can put this in and do this, and you'll start adding to that center to get the sound you're looking for. All four of these sections have identical controls. So you have delay in milliseconds, which goes up to 30 milliseconds, which makes sense because of the Haas effect. You have a low pass filter and you have a high pass filter. With these filters, you have a resonance, but if I read the manual correctly, it only works when you're on 12. So being on six and doing this shouldn't really have much of an effect or any effect. If you're on 12, then you'll be able to hear what's going on here. I may be wrong about that, we'll find out. But these controls are repeated on all four of the sides. This meter in the center tells you what's going on with your signal. If you have a mono signal, there'll be a vertical line, which is, let's say, if you only had mid, you'd see a vertical line. If you only have side, you'll see a horizontal line. So if I have a stereo file and I want to see a horizontal line, I'd make sure this is in, take it all the way to zero, because the only thing you have here now is the side content at 100%. But if the side content is 100% and I drag it down to zero, then you're going to have a straight line vertical anyway, because now all of this width is zero, which means it's mono. If it's set to 100 like this, you'll see a horizontal line. If it's stereo content, and this goes back to 100, you'll see somewhat of a circle or whatever's actually going on in here. Basically, this is showing this line is full left, this line is full right. You'll see what's going on when we get into the program. Other than that, there's gain in, there's gain out. I don't normally mess with that. There's auto gain, I don't normally mess with that. There's feedback, I really don't normally mess with that because what that does is it sends signal from field to focus and focus to field. So if neither one of these are in, you could turn this wherever you want and nothing's gonna happen. If you have both of these activated to a degree, then this is going to send the signal back and forth for interesting effects. Other than that, this is your on-off switch, and we're ready to go.
So what you're looking at here looks like a bunch of lines, but I can tell that the left side is the bass because it's red. These are the guitars because they're blue. These are synthesizers because they're brown. These are vocals because they're yellow. This is the two bus for final output, and this is the print bus where you print your song back into Pro Tools. It makes more sense when you look at it in the other window, which is this. So you have your bass in red, your guitars in blue, your synths in brown, your vocals in yellow, and your drums up here in green. Right now we're going to look at this loop, which is back here, which is basically the final chorus of this song. And we're going to look at where we want to place these guitars and where we want to place these background vocals. These vocals right here are lead, harmony, background left and background right, which are right here. Lead, harmony, background left, background right. You can tell by the panning. This is the lead. These two are harmonies. These two are background vocals. Normally I would have renamed these so you can actually tell that from the names, but the names are pretty long and I didn't feel like going through this many channels of information to move it. If I really cared, I could just leave this window open. So I have the verse, which is right there. I have the chorus, the chorus double, there's the harmony, ad libs left and right, background vocals, etc. So let's start with the vocals. I'm using pre fader metering so I can see where the signal is without having to have the fader up. Drunk into the marrow, I desire you. Put on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky. Calling forth the flames of all hearts in my love chin and come on to me. I, who am all pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. Okay, that sounds fine. The first thing I would really do here is put a compressor on the two bus. So. Let's go with 33609 on this one. This particular setup is already calibrated, meaning that a negative 18 dBFS signal hitting this would cause one decibel of gain reduction and it would still register minus 18 on the other side. That's a different topic, but just explaining why these settings are the way they are. Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. I desire you. Put on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the Calling forth the flames of all hearts in my love chin and come on to me. So now let's add the guitars. Since what we want to do is deal with the mid side, let's send all the guitars to an aux. So we're going to select all of these. Instead of right now, they go to the two bus. We're going to do this. a stereo aux called guitars solo safe it I who am all pleasure and purple drunk into the marrow I desire you put on those wings arouse the 
Kyle's Blender will lend you and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky. Come in for the flames of all hearts in my love chill and come on to me. Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. I, who am all, pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the child's blood. And come on to me I am the blue little daughter of the sunset I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky Come in for the flames of all hearts in my love chill And come on to me can also do just in case is send our background vocals to an aux. Same deal. Stereo aux BGVs. So we'll save it. Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. Pull on those waves, arouse the child's splendor within you. Go with an AE on this. Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. Pull on those waves, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset, I'm the naked brim. All right, just for consistency. Put an A on these. I, who am all, pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the child's blood. And come on to me I am the blue little daughter of the sunset I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky Calling for the flames of all hearts in my love chill And come on to me Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset, I'm the naked brilliance of the For the flames of all hearts in my love chill and come on to me. Okay.
Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Let's save a version and move forward. So now that we've compressed them, the vocals are louder. So let's move the guitars up. I, who am I? Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. I desire you. Come on to me I am the blue Little daughter of the sunset I'm the naked brilliance Of the night sky Come, come in for The flames of all hearts In my love chill And come on to me Come on to me I am the blue little daughter of the sunset I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky Come, come in for the flames of all hearts in my love chill And come on to me That works for me now let's see what changes we want to make to the guitars with DRMS. I, who am I? Like I was saying before, this meter shows you right side, left side. So if you see a line in this direction, it means it's all in the right speaker. If you see a line in this direction, it means it's all in the left speaker. If you see a line vertical, it means it's equally in both speakers, which is mono or mid. And if you see a line this way, it's all side. So there's all difference. There's nothing that's equal in the left side and the right side. So when this starts playing, it starts with a right side signal. So you'll see the line here, and then it becomes a circle. I, who am I? Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. So like I said, if you take out mid, this dial doesn't have any effect. If mid is in, then this dial works. So that's useful already because the guitars you might only want on the sides, probably not, but you might want to change the percentage. The value of that is the guitars get out of the way of what's going on in the center, which is mainly the vocals, the kick, the snare, and the bass. So we can turn these back on and see what difference this mid is making. Pleasure and purple, drunk and 
Thing you can do with the RMS is let's say you had the bass in and you felt like high passing the guitars for some reason. You can high pass them only in the mids, you could high pass them only on the sides, you can do whatever you want. In the case of vocals, you might want to leave all the highs for the vocals, which means you want to low pass the guitars but only in the center, not on the sides where you want them bright. Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the Come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky. Come in for the flames of all hearts in my love chin. And come on to me. So let's say you liked how that sound. Now you've high passed the mids at 153, but you've also low passed the mids with a resonant filter on it. Since these are the mids, you wouldn't really want to delay it because you might throw the timing of the guitars off with the song, but let's see what this sounds like. I, who am all, pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you, Okay, that didn't sound like anything to me. So that's what you can do with the mid. Let's look at the side. Side is in, which means this dial is working. I, who am all, pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. This is what I was saying earlier. If you have your mid on, that's going to cause a vertical line, which means it's down the center, right in between left and right. If you have your side in and it's on zero, that means don't give me any side content, which means all the content is coming from the mid. As you add width, this turns from a line into a circle and potentially maybe a football shaped horizontal line. I, who am all, pleasure and purple, drive. To the marrow, I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky. Coming for. That's also a good way to hear what your mid content is doing. So you heard how it's muffled. You want it muffled because that's what we were talking about is it's low pass so that it'll get out of the way of the highs of the vocals, but it's also high pass to get out of the way of the bass if the bass had been in. 
So one of the things you can do with this is you can put the side in, bring it down to zero, and then craft your mids that way. I who am all pleasure and purple drunk into the marrow. I desire you pull on those wings, arouse the coil splendor, will then you and come. Focus does is it places mid content on the sides. Let's listen to that. So what we're listening to now, even though all three of these say in, with this in and it's on zero, the reason why I have it on in is because if it weren't, this would be on 100 even though it says zero. So this stays in on zero, so there's no side content that we're getting from the original signal. We're only getting the mid from the original signal, but then the focus is sending the mid from the original signal to the sides. Really, you would do this when you only had one mono signal and you wanted to add a stereo sound to it. I who am all pleasure and purple drunk into the marrow. I desire you pull on those wings, arouse the coil splendor, will then you 
So when you get the focus sounding the way you want it, you can make a louder focus by turning down the mids because the top of the mid is 100. So that's going to create this vertical line. The more zoom you add, it makes a horizontal line because this is difference, not sum or, you know, mid versus side. But the point is that you don't have to turn up the volume of focus. You can turn down the volume of the mid. Skies come, come in for the flames of all hearts in my love gym and come on to me. I, who am all pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. Coiled splendor within you and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky. Coming forth, the flames of all hearts in my love chill and come on to me. Now you're probably saying by now that the signal sounds better before I messed with it than after. But the point is that we're listening to this in solo and that's great, but nobody's actually going to listen to your song in solo. They're going to listen to the song as all of these channels going to the two bus and being a stereo file. So what I'm doing with DRMS is I'm putting the guitars exactly where I want them on the stereo bus. In this case, I'm mixing them relative to the vocals, but I could have been mixing them relative to the whole song, all the rest of the elements. Also, since you have automation, if I mix it with DRMS relative to the vocals, when the vocals aren't playing, I can automate a bypass. So really what you're trying to do with tools like this is you're trying to get exactly the sound that you want to hear exactly when you want to hear it. So now, as you've seen from the meter, the mid is making a vertical line. The focus is making a horizontal line, but the width is also making a horizontal line, right? So the width comes from the actual signal. The focus is coming from the mid being turned into a difference or side signal. The question is how loud you want these two relative to each other, which you can deal with with both of these dials but also whether you want them to overlap or you want one to go first and the other to go second. That's where the delay comes in, here and here. Okay, this button right here is the polarity button. Polarity, not phased. Don't be confused. To me, this signal sounds better when the polarity button is pressed. Without it, it sounds more muffled to me, like if the focus is fighting against the side. Then you 
and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the night sky. Come, come in for the flames of all hearts in my love chill and come on to me. Pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. I am the blue little daughter of the sunset. I'm the naked brilliance of the. Come on to me. I who am all pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow. I desire you. Pull on those wings, arouse the coiled splendor within you, and come on to me. So as you can see from the meter, we've got a lot of focus and we've got a lot of width. That's why we have a lot of horizontal. The mid isn't on 100, it's on 69. We have less vertical. That's making this football shape that you're seeing. I, who am all, pleasure and purple, drunk into the marrow, I desire you. So now what's left is field. It has the same controls as the other three but it's bringing side content into the center. Let's listen to that. So you see what I was talking about earlier, the mid creates a vertical line because that's the center left and right, that's the center. So mid creates a vertical line, but so does field because field takes what's on the sides and it puts it down the center. So even though these are different volumes, as you can see with the mid, as opposed to how long the line is when field is in, they're doing the same thing. They're adding to the strength of the signal up the middle as opposed to on the sides. That's why I was saying DRMS is useful for drums that might sound flabby up the middle. If the way it was recorded, everything's on the sides and you're really not getting that punch down the center, you can put it back with field by bringing the side content to the center.
So obviously those signals sound a little different, but the point here with this particular processor isn't the sound, because you can get the sound from an EQ. If you just wanted more highs in your guitars, you would just put an EQ on your guitar bus or on your individual guitar tracks. The point is you can use DRMS to shape exactly where your signal goes so that it works exactly the way you want it with other elements of your song. And come on to me I who am all Pleasure and purple Drunk and to the marrow I desire you Pull on those wings Arouse the coiled splendor Within you And come on to me Like I said, what feedback does is it passes signal between focus and field. Let's see what that sounds like. So you can see why I don't use that much. That seems like something you would use on synthesizers on purpose, not necessarily something you would use on guitars in a regular rock song. So with zoom on 200 and depth on 160, I can't turn the level up too much before it starts feeding back. I mean, of course, it's called feedback. It's supposed to feed back. What I mean is feeding back in a way that you don't want in your song. Let's hear it with the vocals. So that's DRMS. It's very handy on the buses. It's handy if you want to craft your mids. Some high pass, low pass, not necessarily delay. 
It's handy if you want to duck the volume of your mids. It's handy if you want to change the width of your sides from 100% up to 600%. It's handy if you want to send center content to the sides. It's handy if you want to send side content to the centers. If you have an application for a synthesizer, you can use this and automate it. This meter in the center is a great new addition for version 5. I think Matthew Lane did a great job as usual. That's it. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you got something out of this video. Bill C. 2017. I'm out.